Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, June 9, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Numbers chapter 13, reading from verse 25 to 33. And it says, And when they returned from searching of the land after forty days, and they went and came to Moses, and to Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kedesh, and brought back word unto them, and unto all the congregation, and shew them the fruit of the land. And they told him, and said, We came unto the land, whither thou sentest us. And surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Ittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwelt in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwelt by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which came of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Amen. We thank God for His holy word. And already we can see here that we have to be careful of the people that we surround ourselves with. Because here it is where the children of Israel was going to the wilderness. And they were heading to Canaan, right? And they went over to spy out the land when they were close. To get a report of what it is like and all of that. And so a group of men along with Caleb went. And of course when they went, they saw that the land was very fertile. And it was flourishing. The, the scriptures say it had milk and honey. So it was rich in food, rich in substance. And so when they came back, they gave the report to Moses and the people. And we can see where Caleb was excited. He said, no man, this land, it is just ready for our picking. And see here, look at these fruits that we brought back. It is flourishing. And we should go at once and take it because we can take it. So in spite of what Esau he was confident enough that with God, they would be able to take it. But there had to be some. I tell you, the devil is a liar. Those men who went with Caleb decide that, no, we have to tell the people the truth or a version of the truth that they have conjured up in their head. The truth that is a lie. Because obviously these men haven't been paying attention to the God that was leading them from Egypt up until this point. They come talking about, no, we can't take it. Those giants in the land, they are much bigger than we. If we go there, they will kill us. They will destroy us. We are like grasshoppers. We are nothing in their eyes. And there's no way we can take that land. So they come and they give an evil report to discourage the people from going over. And I tell you, the devil have his people everywhere, even in the camp of God. So don't be fooled. We go to church every day and we feel that everybody that they are there, they are of God. You are gravely mistaken. Some folks are there for the same purpose that those men were with Caleb. They are there to discourage you, to make you feel like your walk with God is a failure, to make you want to give up, 
to discourage you so that you can walk out of the church, walk away from God, make you feel like you have made a mistake. And that is why I tell people, do not let anybody discourage you from leaving the church and walking away from God. And unless them take you up and throw you outside, it doesn't matter what they do, keep coming because you're not coming to them. Keep coming. And even if them take you and throw you outside, come and stand up at the doorway. Like the servant David says, I'll rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell among wicked men. Hey. And so these men, their intention, guided by the evil one of course, came to discourage the people. But I love the scripture that says that there's nothing that is impossible with God. God can move whatever mountain that is in your way. David is a testament of that fact. This giant that he went up against, Goliath, he took him down. Not in his own power, but in the power of Christ. He took him down and he humiliated the Philistine army. One little boy and five stone. So, yes, you may look like a grasshopper to your mountain in front of you but you can crumble that mountain to nothing with God because God is able to help you to climb your mountain to swim through your valleys to walk through your fires to swim through your rivers is able to help you to rise above whatever situation and circumstances that come your way and so yes there are those that will come to you and make you feel like giving up. They will discourage you. They will make you feel like you just can't go any further. They have no words of encouragement to you, to give to you. And so their purpose is to sway your mind from your purpose and from God and to destroy you. So they have become tool for the devil to use to destroy you do not give them the satisfaction keep pressing forward go over into canaan the lord said i have provided for you this place it is yours go over there and take it possess it these giants they look like giants but they are no giants because no giants is too great for god to fall and so we must keep and so we must understand the God that we serve. You think that because you might not have a job that God can provide for you. You think that because you may be sick and you are having difficulty with that illness that God can bring you a miracle. You think that because your children they are giving you a hard time that God can calm them down. You think that because your spouse is giving you a difficult time and your marriage seems to be failing, that God cannot deliver you and God cannot work it, work it out for you? Come on, friends. We need to understand the God that we serve. We need to give God more credit. And so, yes, giants are there, but I have the right axe to chop down those giants I have the right sling and the right stone. I have the weapon to deal with those giants. And so, I encourage you this morning that you will remain steadfast and remote. remain focused. Do not be discouraged. I know you may be going through a difficult time right now. It seems impossible for you to go forward. But that's the time when you need to muster up the courage and say, I will step out in faith. I will claim the victory. I will press towards the mark of that I call in. I will not allow myself to be defeated by the enemy. I will not crumble at the feet of my giant. But I will rise victorious and I will step in the neck of my giants. And I will rise with Jesus who is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And I say, Amen and amen so god bless you go on conquering your giants and remember your reward is sure the land of canaan flowing with milk and honey is yours if you only go and possess it 
Amen.